Hiya, I'm that James Wisdom and this month we're going to be building an old model from the Ice Planet 2002 range. So this week's model is actually a rebuild of an old model that I had when I was a kid um, and it's from the Ice Planet 2002 range as you can see up here. 6973 is its number and it is called the Deep Freeze Defender, apparently. Um, and what it is, it's a spaceship from the Ice Planet range which came with three minifigures, including the female uh, Ice Planet space character. Um, and it was made of four parts. So you've got th two ships that come off the front, a middle section which has a missile in it, and then a larger section at the back which actually holds this little ship here. Um, the box is really nice. It's actually got the old flip, so you can actually lift up the top here to see inside so when you're in Toys R Us or whatever you can actually lift up and see the pieces that are inside in there um, and on the top of that as you should be able to see now there is um, a bunch of instructions on how to take it apart and put it together and all that sort of stuff so here's the missile all the actions are in the inside here you can obviously see that none of the pieces are in here I've actually got the pieces elsewhere separate um, and I'm going to rebuild them again in just a second on the back of the box what we've got is and this is a really nice feature a nice little thing that they don't really do anymore but it shows you all these different other options the pieces you get in this box you could build into a little sort of satellite tower and this plane with a missile just sort of snuck in the back there and then you've got this kind of sled here and then there's another different plane and another set of robot you could build here small planes and then the three minifigures just sort of sat in the middle there so you should be able to see that nicely there i'll just zoom in on that for you and those are the three minifigures you're going to get in this set which include the standard um ice planet astronaut um commander cold this guy's name is apparently um, who is their captain and then the female ice planet astronaut as well so there's a nice female minifigure in here as well which is really nice um, so that's that what I've got inside here at the moment is just the instructions you can see the instruction book in there so let's get that out let's just open it up this box came with a tray so let's just slide that off that side and this had a tray it just came with all the pieces in a tray um, so get rid of that as well keep the box for these kind of things and now I've got the instruction book here which you can see is quite different to the instruction books we have these days um, we've got up the top here the fully built model which is the same picture as the front of the box and then another picture down here of just showing it coming into its different parts so there's the two front pods that come off the middle section there the back section there and then this small sled uh, kind of craft as well inside you can see it's very much like any other Lego book. I had noticed um, in some of these older books that the detail of the instructions isn't as um, high as it was when uh, with the newer stuff should I say um, and you can see here this is how you build the, the main characters it tells you how to put one together and then just shows you the faces there so the only one with a different torso here is uh, Commander Cold who has a slightly different torso and then you've got the different faces for the other astronauts but other than that there's not much different to them so with that said let's get this thing out and building So this is it, this is the Deep Freeze Defender, fully built with three minifigures here. Let's start with the minifigures, so you, just to look at them, they all look fairly similar. So they've all got the same uh, helmet with this cool trans orange, just trans bright orange in fact, visor with the little antenna on the side and the slit in the front. Um, and the two of these characters look exactly the same until you look at the head. So let's just take the visor off of this one. This is the female uh, minifigure astronaut for the Ice Planet astronauts uh, here. And she only came with this set and one other set which is sort of a, an ice 
command base thing, which I also have. Um, but she has this orange fringe here. The body is identical to the standard male astronaut character, and it's only the head that's different. So let's pick him up. And there you go. You can see he has the exact same body. There's no print on the back of any of these. You've just got the standard uh, kind of oxygen tank that comes with all of the space people here. And then if we take his helmet off, you can see that he actually has this white fringe just here. Um, and he's the standard astronaut. He came with a lot of the sets for the Ice Planet stuff. Um, the only one that's different is this guy here. He's called Commander Cold. He has a different torso print. I really like the name Commander Cold. I think that's kind of fun. Uh, if I take his helmet off, he's got this white moustache and the eyebrows there. So he's a cool character as well. Uh, a nice little character to have as part of the set. Uh, each of these characters has a few accessories. They are actually all attached to the sides of the ship here so you can actually see that here you've got um, this little sort of chainsaw thing and then the skis are attached down here as well. Um, but I've got some spare from another set that I have so I'm just going to pop those on to this guy with um, from that set. So if I just clip those onto his feet there, they come with these trans orange, trans bright orange skis and then the little trans orange chainsaw thing there as well for cutting the ice presumably. Uh, so they're really cool and in this nice bright colour as well. So I pop him down there. Um, and that's what characters you have with that. So there's three minifigures with this set, uh, which is quite cool. They're all of the versions of the characters that came with the Ice Planet series. Let's get them out of the way and actually talk about the main model though. So just get them out of the way. And you can see here, this section is made up or this whole thing is made up of basically three colours, four colours. You've got the white and the blue for the ice theme, the black trim on pieces like this and these dishes on the top, and then this trans orange, trans bright orange colour, which is really, really cool and one of the, the kind of primary colours with this set. And this is a really, really nice build. It's quite fun to do. Um, I, I really rather enjoyed it and I was putting it back together, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot how cool this was. Um, and I remember it being a very popular one for me as a kid. I really liked this one a lot. Um, and there's a lot of really cool things it does, including coming apart into four different pieces. So let's take these off. We've got these pods that come off the front. So they're sort of ski um, spaceship things. So I guess they could be used as sort of things that uh, patrol around the planet or fly in the sky depending on how you wanted to use them so you could use them as sort of little sleds for your characters for ground vehicles or you could use them as spaceships that they fly around in. Inside you've got a printed piece in here I'm just going to pop this off so you can see it a bit better but there's a printed piece in here which um, has a nice little control panel on there which I believe was one that was specifically designed for the ice planet stuff so there it is just in there pop that back and oh so i can get it back on properly shall we there we are there's two of those so each one pops off the front here uh, one seems to pop off easier than the other and they just clip in with one of these single uh, kind of bar pieces uh, which is attached to a two by two block so there's those you've also got the section in the middle and you can actually see where all of these things attach on the section in the middle here by looking at these little yellow arrows. So everything that detaches has a little yellow arrow kind of folding over it. Uh, so the middle section is designed as a missile uh, containing area. So you lift that up and it's got the missile inside. It has this little thing attached to the front of it as well, which is designed to sit on the end of the missile. Um, as a little, I don't know, like a radar thing or, you know, it kind of looks like a droid from Star Wars, but it's not. Um, the nice piece about this uh, section is it's got this kind of windscreen piece from uh, a car windscreen piece that's printed and is in an opaque blue colour and it's got this cool uh, Ice Planet printing on it. You've got these Ice Planet printings here and on these 
uh, slanted pieces here as well. So there's a lot of really cool pieces with this set, uh, all of which are printed. There's no stickers or anything like that, um, which I don't think they did stickers at this time in, in the 90s. Um, these two little pieces clip up as well, and then they hold this piece on. So if I pull this off, this becomes a separate section that you can use as a kind of missile launch silo like this and therefore you've got this kind of little missile or silo and that comes off of there. That's really cool and that leaves us with this last section, this big section here, which is kind of like a hanger piece, um, the piece where you would eject other stuff from. Uh, and you can see this really cool kind of slanted uh, kind of door piece, it's, uh, it looks like a garage type door um, and if you lift up these two uh, booster pieces here, these black boosters, you can actually see that this slides along like this and it actually lifts up another ship. And this ship then is designed to come out of here and that has a little magnet piece on the side and it's piloted by one of your uh, space goers, your astronauts and it clips onto here and then that is for transporting your missile so your missile then hangs off the side of that little flying ship and they can transport the missile to wherever they want it then so there's lots of real cool action things that this model has let's see if I can get that back on there without looking shall we, can't see it from this angle uh, there you go so there's a lot of really cool action sequence uh, things this can do if I pop that back on there, oh it's getting all caught up and then push it down it gives me back the door, slides up, and I close those down and it holds them in place. And that is an incredibly cool action for this to have. It locks, it stops anything else happening there. And you can actually see in from the back if you look through these, again, bright trans orange pieces. So there's a lot of really, really cool action there, um, designed so that you can put all three of your minifigures into a different ship so one in each of these and then one in our other ship that comes out of here and each one of those then carries their equipment so there's skis on this one skis on this one and skis on this one and then of course your little chainsaws on each of those as well giving you like a huge amount of stuff you can do there's a, a lot of potential for play here and it's a, just a really really nice piece um, there's not much more really to say about that. It was a really fun build and I was surprised at how much I enjoyed rebuilding this uh, as something that I had as a kid and I'd forgotten how much fun this was and how cool this piece was and really how big it was and how much stuff came with it. Um, so that's it, I hope you enjoyed this and you enjoyed seeing all of the Ice Planet minifigures and the big ship that they came with um, and I hope that this has been an interesting video for you. It's not a new piece, obviously. Uh, if you want to see me do more of these rebuilds, please comment in the comment section down below. Uh, I have a castle that I'm planning on doing another video of as well. And I do have a bunch of other pieces that I've uh, rescued from my parents' house um, since they moved that I can now go through and rebuild. So keep smiling. Thank you very kindly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please come back and watch more in the future. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please go and watch previous video. Last month's was the Doctor Who Ideas set, so that was a really cool build. If you're into your Lego, you should totally go and check that one out. I also have been putting up short vines, so six second stop frame animations of builds of the smaller sets. So if you're interested in that, it's really quick, easy to digest, and go and check those ones out as well.